All right, welcome back to another episode of Bum It, Build It. Now, just recently on my Etsy shop, one of the Splash Mountain signs I made had just sold, and I was so happy, and then I was so sad because I realized how awesome that thing was, just how unique it was. And there's still, as you can see, there's still the other one over there, but I want to make another cool Disney sign. So today, I just got done tracing it out. We're gonna be doing the Jungle Cruise. Got it all traced out and got the paddle. So we're gonna go to the router now and the grinder, the saw and see what we can do. The number you have dialed is not in service at this time. So I finished carving on the sign and drilling all the holes and everything for it and sanding it and here's what I got so far. Yeah. Little jungle cruise. Yes, and then cannot forget the small little paddle. I'm just gonna go, gonna go underneath here. Like so. As I mentioned I had drilled some holes and that is for like those little metal brackets and for the rope that's gonna be hanging for the paddle as well. But I will show you all that stuff that I had found for the brackets and the metal bolts and all that stuff a little bit later. But now we're going to get to painting this. So let's do it.
All right, so the tedious part is all done and that is the painting and it looks awesome so far. This is what it looks like. <laughs> yeah, it's really, it looks sweet. As you saw what I did, I took like a, a permanent marker and I did the black around there and I wasn't really happy with how that looked. So I went over it with normal paint, acrylic paint and a brush and I made it just look a hundred times better and Here's the paddle. And then I was lucky enough to find some hardware and metal brackets to attach the paddle to the actual sign. This is the first bracket, as you can see. And then I just bent some other ones up, some metal bars, drilled a hole in them so I can mount them to the sign with some bolts and some nuts. And what I did with these actually is they were pretty old and rusty when I found them. So after I got done bending them all into the shape that I wanted, I uh, cleaned them all up and then I had did some layers of spray paint to make it look old and rusty. And then what I actually did was I literally just threw these all over, threw them on the ground, hit them against each other, beat the living shit out of them. And then I soaked them in water for about, I don't know, an hour maybe, whatever, it doesn't, doesn't really matter. You just soak them in water. And then you take them out and let them air dry and what happens is the edges where um, everything hit and scraped up the actual paint and left it with bare metal turned into actual rust. So it makes it look genuine and authentic, but still not very dirty when you touch it. So now what it's time for is to spray paint some clear protective over the sign and the hardware. That way this thing is protected to the max. So without further ado, Let's get into it. <laughs> 